Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and we are going to start a new series called Service Portal. The reason behind that creating a new uh, Service Portal series is that lot of people they don't know from where to start for the Service Portal and what are the languages they have to learn. For that reason, we are building a complete series so that you can learn from the beginning to the end what are the things you need to be done for the Service Portal. We'll discuss on deep like what are the language you need for the Service Portal uh, what are the steps you need to be do for the service portal? People don't know that uh, they randomly take any uh, video and then start watching that, but they don't know that from where it should start and where it should end. That's the reason I am creating a series. So it, the series will be published one by one. So I would request everyone, please like, share and subscribe my channel because I am putting a lot of effort to making this kind of video. Uh, we already running one video called uh, JavaScript series and now and apart from that we are running another series called uh, integration series. In meantime, people are requesting to create uh, that service portal series. So I am parallelly creating this service portal series. Uh, if you go back to my website, which is called snowexpertroid.com, this is my website and under this website you will be able to see documentation and all my videos documentation are present here. Under this service portal, you will be able to find out the service portal documentation. In this documentation, we'll discuss one by one and then this documentation will be keep on, this page will be keep on in increasing. So you can start accessing this, but there are a lot of stuffs will be added behind this, I mean, in between this uh, topic. So uh, keep watching and keep browsing my channel. So let's get started without wasting time. So very first topic we want to discuss that what is service portal or maybe service portal introduction. So if you see service portal allows you to build a mobile friendly self a service experience for your user. It interact the part of the new now platform. So user can access specific platform feature using the service portal. It is an alternative to content management system. So previously in our uh, system the service um, apart from the service portal there was a one uh, module called content management or CMS that service portal replaced that CMS because CMS built based on the JavaScript and Jelly script. Uh, Jelly script is a little difficult and uh, it does not support the Angular JS. Uh, so those are the reason it's not a uh, user friendly that much user friendly and mobile friendly. That's that's the reason service now introduce a new module called service portal. This service portal in uh, in, in this service portal what are the features you have you have a mobile friendly you will get that mobile friendly user experience you can access this service portal from your mobile you can access your um, uh, portal from the uh, desktop laptop tablet anywhere that um, in your platform it support by default bootstrap so you don't need to put extra code or extra module you don't, don't need to inject the system will automatically support that bootstrap and uh, also it support the angular js it support the angular js not angular angular and angular js are both of the complete different angular js is run that one point version to the 1.89 uh, 1.6 1.7 these are the version of the angular js but the angular is 2 3 angular 2 angular 3 angular 4 so these are not angular is not supported into service portal but angular js support by um, service portal so there is a huge difference between coding point of view also the angular js and angular so uh, these are the things you should keep in mind uh, whenever you are starting with the service portal. For service portal development, you need to know various uh, coding language. We'll discuss that what are the language you need for the service portal. But for the timing, we'll see that service portal is a very mobile friendly. It boost, support bootstrap support and Angular JS support. Uh, it, it can be uh, used mobile tablet or any other devices. Now go back to that uh, development role required for the service portal you need admin or SP admin. So who have the basic knowledge they can also reuse that uh, portal again and again or maybe the widget again and again. So for that they can use that SP admin which is the service portal admin they can use that. Now for whom we are building the service portal why we need so we need that we understand that who can develop right. So this can be developed by admin or service portal admin but who can access this service portal service portal can be accessed by end user or service text agent or any user external or internal so service portal is built completely for all the user even they don't have any role so they will derive they might not be go to your 
native view service now view they can go to the service portal so service portal is built for one and only end user and end user service days admin everyone can use the service portal it is for the all the user present to the platform even for the service portal can be built for the public user so who whose profile is not present to the service now they also can be accessed to the service portal now let's come back to the what are the language supported by service uh, portal so for the service portal we need various uh, language to build the service portal very first thing is that you would need to know that basic html very first thing you should know the html you should know the css you should know the bootstrap you should know the angular js these are the topic we'll cover as part of this series also we'll talk about that what is html how we build the html and css all those stuff one by one but you need you should have those basic knowledge apart from that to develop the backend site like uh, the once somebody click the submit button the record will be saved to the service now side you should get some data from the service now for this one uh, for the backend you need to know the service now server side scripting knowledge you should know the javascript you should know the http service so let's say that through the integration you want to get some data and you should bind the data and present that for that also we need the http service so basically these are the languages you need as for the development area so that's all about this uh, uh, you know this uh, this service portal introduction if i go back to the service portal training content so what are the things we are going to actually um, discuss during this course you can see these are the topics we are going to discuss from the very basic to the very complex scenario we are going to discuss each and every topic we will build a portal from the scratch and we'll design a page with a complete portal but again for your actual scenario i'll show or i'll create based on the dummy scenario but to act for the actual scenario or actual requirement you should uh, uh, you should know all these basic stuffs that we are going to use that so you should uh, keep watching and learning and practice and after that you will be able to work on the, your uh, end to end project so very first thing that whatever training in this training whatever we will show you that you should keep on uh, keep um using and enhancing your skill uh, you should use your um any kind of requirement you should try to fit that which which part of this uh, object can be fit for that requirement and you should build that now coming back that if you see there are we'll start from the very basic portal basic what are the things need to be configured we'll talk about the html basics also we'll talk about the bootstrap basic also and we'll talk about css basics also so we'll talk all those basics but for advanced course called html bootstrap you should um, i have playlist in my channel you can go and watch the html basics uh, i mean html and you can deep dive there but we'll talk about all these basic stuffs so html bootstrap all those stuffs one by one so now let let me show you that how the service portal will be looks like that and what are the things i can show you for the today so once you log into the native instance uh, you can see in this here call this is my left navigation here if you type the service portal you will be able to see this service portal module under this service portal there are many modules are uh, present we'll discuss this point one by one right now uh, if you see here i am in the tokyo release so if i search with that uh, stats dot do you can see uh, i am in this tokyo release and this uh, this version or these sessions will be created on the tokyo release so there will be many features in upcoming um, upgrade but most of the backend will be remain same so if you are using the lower version of this tokyo release or if you are using if you are going to be used in future upper version because tokyo is the current latest version but if you are you if you are going to use in these things in the upper version in future the pretty much backend will be remain same a few things uh, enhancement and a package will be a little bit different but most of the cases it will be as it is remain same now if i go back to the service portal under the service portal we have a home portal called service portal home if we click that by default this is the service portal or this is the service now out of box uh, portal will be looks like that so if you see here this is the out of box service portal looks like that in top if you see if i scroll down the menu is now it, it's a static and it is not scrolling but uh, apart from that the complete page is uh, coming i mean scrolling down 
the top you can see this is the announcement we call the announcement and this announcement can be dismissed or can be uh, delete based on the configuration that we can do in the left side this is the main menu this menu is right now static but if we want you can do this the menu the way so that it can be scrollable now here this is the search here we can do a search here and this is the uh, the here that help text that we can show these are the uh, you know that links we can say but links when you hover over that the links color is getting changed apart with this text and when you click that it will it will redirect you to the different page so if you are order if you are ordering from some for the, some catalog item you can go back to this page and you can order from here you know this is how your actual home look like that this is the knowledge base where you can get all this knowledge article so this knowledge article will help the end user to understand for any of this process area that let's say how to reset their password, how to get the token, this kind of details uh, end to end, how can uh, uh, log into my system very fast and this kind of any knowledge article if we want to publish, we can uh, store into here. Um, if you want, let's say that if you want laptop, you want that uh, to be add yourself in a particular group. You can go to this request something and order that so this portal is be completely built for the end user so that end user can get help from this portal i mean they can they should not type in the left i mean they should not go back here and type that uh, service portal or they should not type that request or catalog item something like that because they don't have much knowledge the end user doesn't have much knowledge so that the presentation the presentation will be some way that they can get everything in a handy and they should have a flavor of the like a website they should not type here and they should not have any knowledgeable they can directly go to this knowledge article catalog item request card so that so if you go to the flip card you don't need someone don't need to explain you that where should go or if you go to any of these e-commerce portal like amazon Flipkart, any of this portal you should not go to this any of these and nobody will guide you or nobody will say you that click there because you don't need to type anything you just click and you can find out everything you can see all this approval all this ticket which is uh, opened by yourself uh, the top rated article the way it is designed that every everyone or any 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 user who don't have any knowledge they can directly you know uh, uh, land to this page and then they can start uh, getting use that item so if you click the get help so these all are small small um, uh, and here you can uh, see the many item is there called change password parting uh, sticker request everything you can see in front of you and then you can raise the request and you can resolve it can resolve your issue similarly we have similarly you have a chat option so once you click that the virtual chat can be open and then using the virtual chat you can uh, talk to the agent the for uh, for the some issues that you are not uh, aware of the, the or maybe the process that you are not aware of that you can see that in the top you have a cart in the cart you can see all this item that will be added to your cart like a shopping cart the all the item will be added here it will be visible there you can see the sign is getting on because virtual agent is on and here you can based on your uh, requirement uh, right now it is not sub, uh, configured properly based on your requirement you can uh, click on that and it can uh, you know it, it can um, support you here you can directly search your any of these uh, catalog item name or um, you know any of these uh, knowledge base or any of these ticket number it can help you to uh, you know it, it can directly search you and uh, land you that particular uh, catalog item let's say that um, laptop not working so this this is called type ahead search once you type something it automatically show you that once you search that it will be searched for the knowledge base catalog uh, it, it can be searched the catalog item knowledge base for you and if you have any ticket directly it can go to that ticket also so if you search with that any of this incident number probably uh, and if you search here it, it, it will directly search that but right now for the incident we have not configured so it will be directly searched and then open that now these things are can be configurable so if i press control if i uh, press control alt and right click so you have to type control alt and right click once you click control alt right click 
these options or this menu will be visible and using this menu you can see uh, uh, if I click that show widget customization once you click that what all widgets are customized what all our widgets are present to the page everything will be shown in a blue screen if you see these all are small small widget or you can say that this we'll discuss that further what is the widget and all those stuffs but if you see here these all are small small widgets which is attached to this page and there is a color combination will you will be able to see the green means that everything is out of box uh, there will be red means that you uh, builds from the scratch and then there will be yellow that you clone that and you mark some modification so that there, there will be color combination based on that you can see what widget are there and what are the built by you or what are the built by service now if if it is built by service now everything will be green because it in this page everything is out of box now in this info if you click that it will be show you all about that widget details like what is all about this widget what are the name uh, what is the angular provider what are the template they are using these uh, diagonals will be showing to you like you can click here and it will be show all these details like that and uh, if you see here if again if you press control alt and right uh, control alt and right click here you can see that it have a uh, some second which is that millisecond which uh, takes to load these widgets and then there are many other options called log uh, log to console these are the options are available we'll discuss this uh, point one by one in our future video we'll build and we'll discuss each and every point small point as much as possible in our um, upcoming video if you have any question any doubts or anything that uh, you want to know about specifically for the uh, this uh, series on service portal comment me in this uh, video or else if you have any uh, question or comments related to the other topic you can dm me or post uh, into that my channel comments so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day